Welcome back again, guys. Um, well, I think I spent almost a year with this rod here, the NRX um, 852S JWR. And this is my go-to rod, my number one rod, very best rod that I love. It's super light, not as light as my Z-Bone, but uh, it's got these nice guides here. I truly love almost everything about this rod, okay? The simple thing that I don't like is this here. I wish they would have it closed. I get my line caught in there a lot. Maybe it's just the style that I'm fishing, or maybe I don't know what the hell I'm doing. My line catches on there you know, when it's windy. On regular days, it doesn't, but, um, this is a phenomenal rod. If I can give it a point system, I will rate this at like 9.5, a near perfect rod. And um, I think it's worth the price, you know. But I wish they would go on sale so that I can pick up more. <laughs> but they don't go on sale very often. If they do, I, I, you know, it's not the one that I want. But um, they got this um, real seat here. Really nice. I mean, I don't care how it's designed or whatever, as long as it's comfortable and it doesn't come apart. This thing doesn't come uh, come become loose when uh, I do ever. I, I don't ever remember it coming apart when I cast. Um, this rod, I've been trying to fix it because um, um, this ring here on the inside, there's a fracture in it and my line's getting caught on it. So I don't know how to fix that. I, I meant to call uh, G. Loomis, see if they'll fix the whole rod or they'll just replace this guide or I, I don't know how to, I don't know if you can just replace the ring. It's just the ring that's fractured. I think it uh, probably was my fault. Um, I was hitting some branches, you know, while casting. And uh, I did that a few times in the same tree. So I just wish I hit it up higher so that, you know, like these um, uh, recoil guides here, they don't have rings. Overall, uh, my favorite rod uh, the Kistler Z-Bone uh, medium light is um, pretty close to it, but this is the number one rod. I would use it almost every day if I didn't have that fracture, so I got to fix that before I can do anything with this rod. The craftsmanship is uh, ship is not as good as the Z-Bone or my Mega Bass, but by golly, it's, it is, you know, the best rod that I ever owned. So until I pick up, you know, maybe other high-end rods, I was trying to get like um, favorite uh, favorite fishing rods. Their top tier is like a five hundred dollar rod. That's um, uh, I forgot what they're called, like the Helix or the. Um, but they never have the the length that I want, you know, and uh, the size, the power. So, uh, yeah, man, if you guys uh, have any recommendation on what uh, other high-end rods that I should try out. And, you know, right now I'm pretty content with my NRX and my Z-Bone. And, of course, my um, uh, Conquest. And then uh, my Mega Bass um, Destroyer is pretty good, too. But I only use that for different fishing so, well, that's my final thoughts on the NRX. Um, if you guys got any questions, uh, feel free to ask me in the comment. Um, I'll answer, answer them when I have time. So, other than that, uh, I'll see you guys on the other side of the lake. Fish foot up.